Hey there, everybody. Welcome to Start Today. So we're in the peak of summer and it is hot out, but you don't have to let that slow you down. If you need an extra dose of motivation, our Start Today group has half a million members who are all working towards a better and healthier lifestyle. Our Facebook group alone has 150,000 folks who've been walking along with us, and it is never too late to start. Scan the QR code to subscribe to our newsletter and join our community. And we've got a great show for you, including strategies to build healthy habits, plus a Start Today member revealing her incredible health transformation and gets a surprise makeover from Hoda and Jenner. Then later, who said workouts can't be fun? Just wait and see what our fitness leader, Stephanie Mansour, has got planned for it. So let's get to it. This is Start Today. Last month, we started on a walking streak challenge. Now we want to add in some upper body workouts. Check out what Stephanie Mansour has in store for us with some help from the New York Yankees. About the importance of upper body training why is that so critical to staying in shape yeah you know nowadays a lot of us are talking about the swimsuits the tank tops the sleeveless dresses so we want to tone our arms yeah. and get a more sleek yeah. physique but more importantly when I do upper body strength training Kristen I love how empowered and strong I feel mm -hmm. and you can really tell a difference in just a few sets a day so this plan is only 10 minutes a day of upper body strength training the first one is sitting down at your desk now okay. I like to meet people where they're okay. at so if you're stuck working at your desk or maybe you're just a couch potato yeah. and you're looking to step it up <laughs> keep a set of dumbbells I recommend a little heavier here five pounds but you can go lighter three pounds sit on the edge of your seat pull your abs in nice job Craig and we're gonna curl up towards the shoulders awesome and then lower down exhale as you curl up good inhale lower down feel that right there how yes. many do you want to do of those of ten okay. and then you can move on so All the right. next one we're gonna stand up get you up off the couch off your seat I, maybe one of you guys could demonstrate the yeah, coach <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to do a desk push-up. Do you want to do a real push-up? Would you prefer whatever, to get down whatever on the ground? You, uh, okay, for those of you at home that want a modified version, we're going to have the hands as wide as the shoulders, lower down, and press up. Again, 10 of these, three sets of 10. But if you want to step it up, yes, coach, oh, we can get down oh, on the ground. Let's pull those abs Woo! Nice. Awesome. I love that. So that working the so upper impressive. back, which is helping with better Pretty good. posture. Pretty good. Good. Still got it. Love it. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna stick to the desk. Let's talk about these arm yes, bands. Yes, so now. I love these. Bands They're with tough candles. Though. I know. Yeah. They are tough probably, to use. Get yeah, yeah, probably demonstrate. All right, here yeah. we go. So we're gonna step on on the resistance band here. Good. Nice. Okay. Yep. Feet both wide as the hips. Both feet. Does this perfect. work with heels? And then All we're right. gonna do side extensions here. Yes, okay. you can do it with your heels. Good. So we're working okay. the shoulders here. Good. Head up, chin up. Good. Abs in tight. How nice. Just as high as the shoulders, and then lower down. And we smile because we're having fun <laughs> <laughs> to join in on the fun. The bigger hey, he's got I know. a bitch in a few days. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough for you. Oh, I'm good, I'm good. Everyone else, three <laughs> sets of ten. Scan that QR code on your screen to get the workout videos that go okay. along with us. We're and if you're like, Steph, you're crazy. I don't want to do strength training. Okay, all I want you to do are grab a couple water bottles or grab a set of two or three pound dumbbells okay. and take these out on your walk. Pump your arms. Really, we're all about meeting ourselves where we're at. So if you don't want to do strength training, if you just want to step up your walk, here we go. We're okay. out on our walk, burning more calories and working those posture muscles. Aaron Judge, is this the lightest weight you've held in a while? Oh, yeah, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. <laughs> <laughs> For the average person, though. This yes. Is, and everyone has water bottles. Everyone has water bottles. This is accessible and an easy and fun way to spice up your walk. This is awesome. All right. Well, you can do it, too. Stephanie, thank you so much. Yes. This is great. Now that we got our first workout in, let's find some other ways we can take charge of our health. Wellness coach Natalie Gus recently sharing five simple changes we can all make that have big impacts on our health. Natalie, good morning to you. Good morning. I was happy to be here. I love this idea. Five things. We can all digest that. And the first one is important. You say get sunlight first thing in the morning. Talk about that. Yeah. So actually our bodies produce something called melatonin that makes us sleepy at night when we see darkness. Sure. So it's really, in foc it's really important in the morning to get that sunlight to turn off that darkness trigger and get us focused get some vitamin D to make us happy, excited, and energized for the day. So do you have any suggestions? Let's say you work overnight or you work early in the morning. You know, how can yeah. you make sure you, you kind of soak up the sun a little bit? Yeah, so any bright light is going to work. Let's say if you do a night shift, something like that. But 
no rules otherwise. You can go yeah. out in your pajamas with your morning coffee, mm. if you're walking your family to school or work or to the bus stop. Um, open your car sunroof. Even just that. Just get a little, yeah. A little yeah, sun. yeah. And get off the subway a step more early to, to get that sunlight. I love that. All right, next yeah. step you say... Movement snacking. Yes, yeah, so I love this one. Okay. So a lot of us do kind of like a 45-minute workout, maybe before work, after work, sometime during the day, but it's arguably more important to move throughout the day. So two minutes every hour, get up and move. Mm. This can be anything. If you're working okay. from home, maybe you're, you know, folding your laundry, right. you're going out to, to get the mail. Um, maybe if you're working in an office, you walk over to a coworker rather than emailing them a oh, question. Sure. Okay. So yeah, there's a lot of different things. You can do only two minutes. We all have two minutes. Every hour. hour. Two minutes every hour. Yes, all right, so exactly. our next healthy habit you talk about, I like this, adding things into your diet instead of eliminating. Yeah. It, it just even feels better just to say that. So what are we adding? Yeah, so I like to play a little game with my clients, add one fruit each week. Oh. And so this can be a fun fruit fruit, like a dragon fruit. They look a little bit scary on the outside, but they're fun on the inside. Okay. And they're a sweet try treat. It. Absolutely. Have I tried a dragon fruit? Yeah. Or you have lychees here. Again, scary on the outside, fun in the middle. But the greatest thing is you can bring your kids to the produce section, have them pick out the fruit that they think looks good, and then teach them, you know, a kiwi is that. ripe when it's a little bit soft. Mm -hmm. You can cut it in many different ways. You can eat it in different ways. So it's a fun way to add nutrients into your diet without... Um, thinking about what you have to take off your plate. And I like it because, quite frankly, sometimes we go to the produce section and we just get what we already are familiar right. with and you don't try new things because you don't know what to do with it. Yeah. So why not try something new today? Just one. All right, the next healthy habit you talk about, food prep versus meal prep. What do you mean by that? Yeah, so meal prepping can feel a little bit overwhelming. Not all of us have time on a Sunday evening to create a whole lasagna or a three For me, it's intimidating <laughs> and then I end up not doing it. Exactly. <laughs> That's true. So, Introduce food prepping. Okay. So you get home from the supermarket or you get your produce, okay. you cut, you wash it, you put it in the fridge in Tupperware com containers. Uh, mm. Maybe you boil some eggs to have some protein snack because our lives get busy. And so it's, it's just as easy to grab some cut peppers than it is to grab a bag of chips. I like this too because you know where I mess up during the day? It's the snacks. Mm. It's not necessarily the meals. It's just when I want something and I don't have anything ready. So this is a really good idea. Exactly. All right, this is good. Last you say, uh, keep it simple. We have yeah. That here. I love this one. You so, um, you know, health and wellness can feel very overwhelming. There's a lot of noise in this space. Um, but think about what you can do consistently. Don't worry about the latest juice cleanse. Can you just add an extra glass of water during the day? Mm. Don't worry about the most expensive workout class. Uh, can you just add a 20-minute walk during your day? Just that. get movement, moving or do any of these steps. Five things a day. day, easy things. Natalie, thank yeah, you so much. And congratulations, thank you. by thank the way. Thank you so much. Coming up, are you ready to break a sweat? Steph Mansour is back with another Start Today workout. Then later, one of our members gets a new look to match her new, healthier lifestyle. We'll be right back with more Start Today. Welcome back. Our Start Today community has tackled a new walking challenge every month. So what do you say we kick it up a notch for July? Earlier, Stephanie Mansour taught us how to add upper body workouts to our walking routines. She showed us a few more exercises on the third hour and answered some questions from our community members. So, Steph, why is it so important to work in upper body, and how yes. much should we be doing it? You know, we work the lower body when we're walking, right? It's part cardio, part strength training. But now it's time to balance things out. So we're going to work the upper body. And I know it's summertime. I know we're all busy. So it's only 10 minutes, not even every day, every other day. And you get okay. to pick dumbbells or resistance bands. What do, you okay. like, what do you like better? Well, I personally resistance. prefer dumbbells if you're starting off because it's a little easier to control. The resistance bands take a little bit more coordination, but the resistance bands actually work the muscles on the way up and down, That's the good. concentric and buff. eccentric. Yes, great yeah. job, Craig. I love those bicep curls. Thank you, Steph. <laughs> so Josie has a question, and this yeah. is a common one, so I'm happy you're here Hi, to Josie. ask. Hi. Uh, so most ladies, and you know, that little area back there, the triceps, yes. I really like dumbbells, bands, which yeah. is more effective? Which is more effective? That's a great question. And I actually like to target this stubborn area with both. So we're going to start with resistance bands. We're going to bend forward here with the feet as wide as the hips, abs drawn in, elbows hug in, and we're going to do tricep kickbacks, kicking the arms back and coming to center. Good. So we're working that upper arm here. Do you feel that right there, Josie, tightening up? Yes. So we do this for 10 repetitions, and then we stop and move on. But I also want to show us how to do this with the resistance bands. 
So I'm going to give everyone a resistance band here. And again, this is a little, takes a little bit more coordination. So that's why I recommend starting with dumbbells if you're a beginner. But for resistance bands, we're going to crunch this up and hold it up at your chest. Oh. And then we're going to hold on above the handle. Good. And then we're going to kick the arm back. Oh. Perfect. And come to center. Hugging that elbow yeah, in. The, yes. Like pull down yeah. and then the release. Yes. Yeah. And you feel the That's resistance one, on the way up too. Yeah. yeah. So I love this. And you can get this entire workout plan and workout videos that go with this over on today.com slash start today. Resistance bands are great because you can travel with them. Yeah. Absolutely. And they don't take up a lot of space in your house. Either. Yes. Just stash them in your have, suitcase. Mary not Beth. Exactly. Yeah. Mary <laughs> Beth, you're from Cheshire, Connecticut. I am. From the Nutmeg State. What's, right. your, uh, what's your question? So my question is, I love my bike and I do a lot of biking, but I have a touring bike and so I'm often hunched over the handlebars. Mm -hmm. So I'd really like to focus on my posture this summer. Yes. What do you recommend? What is the best approach for that? Yes. So I'm going to have us grab our dumbbells again. And these exercises are great for anyone who's sitting at a desk or even sitting on the couch. And you know, Mary Beth, you shared with me earlier that Start Today has really helped you get out of a workout rut. You're yes. waking up, you're going out and getting active and feeling I'm so much walking, better. I'm walking through Cheshire. Yes. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. So the first exercise we're going to do is a lateral raise. So we're going to hold the weights down abs in again feet as wide as the hips we're gonna lift the arms up towards the sh as high as the shoulders and lower down good now a common mistake people make here guys is engaging those trapezius muscles up here the neck we don't want to do that instead we want to slowly lift up working the delts working the shoulders there do you feel that I do yes and this is Definitely. helping build that upper body strength so we have better posture and one more exercise is an overhead press arms start at a 90 degree angle we press up make sure you can see them in your peripheral vision and then come back down again releasing those trapezius muscles perfect not lifting too heavy we're all starting with three pound weights but you can go up to five six seven pounds but this looks great and we do 10 repetitions and then set them down and repeat the whole circuit for 10 minutes I love it yeah, thank this you so much nice. this is so great yes. Josie and Mary Beth thank you so thank much thank you guys here and keep up the good work part of our yeah. family up next a woman shares her weight loss journey and Hoda and Jenna help her celebrate with a style makeover. Plus, hate feeling sticky and sweaty during a workout? Ugh. We're going to give you some tips on how to stay cool while exercising this summer. We'll be right back after we clean off. We are back with more Start Today, and we love highlighting our community members, and so many of them have undergone incredible health transformations. This next woman is no exception. A few years ago, Emily Baker set a goal to commit to a better lifestyle and embarked on a weight loss journey. She started running for 15 seconds at a time. Those 15 seconds eventually turned into 26.2 miles when she completed the New York City Marathon last year. Hoda and Jenna heard about Emily's story from our Start Today group and helped her celebrate her milestone with a style makeover. Now, before we see Emily's transformation, let's see her story. I am Emily Conley Baker. I am 34 years old and I am a mother of three, a health and wellness coach, and I'm a registered pediatric nurse. I've always been someone who put on this face every day that I had everything together, but inside I really struggled emotionally, specifically surrounding my weight and my physical appearance. In 2019, I had my youngest. About three weeks later, my father passed away visiting us. His size was a massive comorbidity of his, and ultimately it didn't allow him to effectively get the care he needed. So witnessing that tremendous loss really just sat with me. I was on the phone with my two brothers. And my brother said to me, Emily, I know you don't feel like physically you're at rock bottom, but emotionally, I think you're there. I'm so thankful they said that to me because I, for the first time, recognized that rock bottom didn't have to be about what I looked like physically. In May of 2021, Emily underwent a vertical sleeve gastrectomy. I knew that it was like my one shot to get this right. And for my 33rd birthday, I decided I was going to run 3.3 miles. I would start running 15 seconds at a time. Started just building up little by little by little. Emily joined a running club and became part of the Start Today community. I like couldn't get enough of it because it was just people exactly like me. 
it kind of lights a spark within you. And you have this moment of like, wow, they've made themselves and their movement a priority today. I want to go and do that for myself. The Queens, New York resident ran a half marathon in March of 2022, and just nine months later completed the New York City Marathon. She is now a certified run instructor, a certified personal trainer, and has lost 135 pounds to date. I couldn't have done any of this alone without my family and without the community that I created as well. When I think about all of this change, I think about my children. I have a nine-year-old. I don't think she recognizes how much of a driving force she's been for me. I'm very proud of how far I've come on the inside, emotionally, physically, but I want to portray that with my style. Emily's so nice to meet you. Interstyle so expert, so Melissa talk. Garcia. So tell me a little bit about what your personal style is currently right now. I struggle in the style department. I'm either in my nursing scrubs or I am in active wear. At the end of this, how do you want to walk out and feel? I feel so much pride and confidence in my ability to change drastically. So I want people to see that in, in what I'm wearing. I am so excited. Let's get started and start trying some clothes on. Oh, wow. Yes. When she found the winning look, it was off to the salon. Welcome Hi. to your Salon. Thank you. They're going to make you over so it's minimum, but still fabulous. Okay, we took some inches off your hair. Now it's time to get to work. Are you ready for your new look? I am. Okay, let's go. And we are oh, so... let's go, let's go. Lucky because we are joined by Emily's family, her husband, Nick, her kids, Adeline, Flynn, and Cora and her running coach, Michelle Ray. What a beautiful mom you guys have. What an amazing wife. Um, are you guys anxious to see her? Yes. Are you sure? Are y'all excited? <laughs> okay, because she looked great before. I can't imagine how cool she's going to look now. Okay, so should we look at Emily's before picture? Okay. And can we see Emily's new look? Come on out, Emily! <laughs> wow! Oh my gosh, I, Melissa, this dress. It's ridiculous, right? <laughs> Your husband. <laughs> <laughs> um, Melissa, why, why'd you choose it? Okay, so oh, first of all, it was such an honor to work with you, Emily. Oh. Like, I had, you were, you were a blessing to me, so thank you. Mm -hmm. um, we talked, and she said she wanted to feel confident. She wanted her mind to catch up with her body. She said she didn't feel like they were together in yeah. sync. So we took something that was totally outside of her comfort zone. Mm -hmm. This was actually the first dress she tried on. This is by Karen Millen, only $84, which is amazing. And it just ha does so much for her figure, and it's so many things she would have never worn. She said she didn't want to show her arms. She <laughs> thought she never could wear anything sleeveless. It's that's cutouts, and she looks stunning. Gorgeous. Yes. Guys, yeah. what do you think? Addie, okay. what do you I love think? it. Oh, <laughs> you look, by the way, you look so beautiful. Yes. I mean, inside out, the hair. Oh, my God. It's, it's so on A lob. I love it. Yes. So, Leona killed her hair. She did such a beautiful job. And Gia Makeup gave her a beautiful, natural, glowy look today. And it just all came together so beautifully. You look, how do you feel? Oh, I just feel, like, so beautiful. Like, inside and out. And it's just... Like, I just feel very blessed. Mm, blessed cool. for the opportunity. And then just, I can't even, it's, I struggle to put it into words because it's very overwhelming. Like, when you, when your outside catches up with your inside. Yes. Wow. You are a true so well beauty. Said. You're well inspiring said. so many people, including your own family. Yeah. Look, um, we've got some flowers. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> That's from your husband. <laughs> yes. He purchased those. Um, Emily, um, we think you deserve to do a little more shopping. Yeah. So we are sending you home with a $500 gift card to spruce up <laughs> your wardrobe. Up wow. So maybe Melissa can help you. I know there were you. First of all, you.
you looked amazing in every dress you tried we on. We didn't ask your husband, what do you think of your beautiful wife? I think she look? looks amazing. Yeah. Uh -huh. Beautiful. Thank well, you, you've got a great family. Thanks, Emily. Kids, come give her a hug. Yeah. <laughs> to check out the Start Today newsletter, you can scan the QR code at the bottom of your screen. Aww. We are so proud of Emily. Her story is an incredible example of just how taking small steps can make a big impact, and we are cheering her on. Still to come, Steph Manzer is back with ways to beat the heat this summer with some tips to help you stay cool while you work out. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Start Today. Now, exercising can be extra tough on hot summer days. But before you decide to throw in the towel and skip your workout, Steph Mansour recently stopped by our third hour to share a few tips to help us all stay cool. Steph, good morning. Good morning. Steph. Good morning, Al. So you said before we even start working out, there's some steps that we can take. Yes. So if you are used to going for your afternoon walk mm -hmm. or maybe a workout during your lunch break, think again. I want you to reschedule your workout so that it's earlier in the day, first thing in the morning to beat the heat or a couple hours after dinner when the sun's setting. And then I also want you to pay attention to what you're wearing. Uh -huh. So obviously hair up off the neck, but also loose, light clothing and dry moisture wicking or dry wicking clothing is what you really want to look for in materials. And even like I've got little holes here too. Mm -hmm. So it really helps for the airflow so that you're not feeling like you're wearing those tight leggings or spandex material. And also you want to look for light colors so okay. that the light is reflected off, the heat is reflected off, not those dark navy blues right. or the black exercise clothes. Heat. Exactly. And it makes you feel hotter. And food and drink? Yes. So I want to make sure you're not exercising after a really heavy meal because then all your energy is going towards digestion rather mm -hmm. than cooling your body down. Down. And also make sure that you're drinking half your body weight in ounces every single day, in addition to an extra eight ounces of water right before you go for your workout to help cool you down. Okay. So we're out, we're working out, it's hot outside, you start to not feel great. Yes. What are you looking for? Yeah, so there's some signs here. You want to look to see if you're feeling nauseous. Mm -hmm. You want to see if you're getting muscle cramps that you don't normally feel when you're exercising. You also want to make sure that you're not feeling lightheaded, like you might fall over, mm -hmm. or feeling dizzy, like spinning around. Right. And things that you can do is, you know, sit out, take a break in the shade, mm -hmm. drink some water. When you're exercising in the heat, I want you to drink an extra eight ounces for every 15 minutes of exercise. So we've got four cups here. That's right. what you would drink for an hour of exercising mm -hmm. outside. And is it a good thing to, if you're not feeling great, to just kind of wander off the way Craig did? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. You can wander off, get the shade. I, I, I made my you? contribution to the segment. <laughs> what, happened to the what happened to the team? I was going to come Where's back the for the end. Okay. You want to try the electrolyte drink? So yeah, you can yes. also replenish your supply <laughs> with two parts water, one part you orange juice, say and a little salt <laughs> to replace those electrolytes in the sodium. Now, if you're oh. wanting to work out yes. inside, Dylan, well. so heat rises. So okay. I'm challenging you to exercise down on the ground, oh. down on a mat. Okay. And no, in addition scared. to being a trainer, I'm also a Pilates instructor. Uh -oh. So we're going to do some leg lifts here, okay. abs in tight, and get you low to the ground. You can even use a fan to blow on you to help keep okay. you cool. But this is a great substitute for going outside. So instead of doing cardio, this is still going to get your heart rate yes, up. Yes, absolutely. And this is low impact, okay. so it's not causing us to, to overheat or sweat too much. Okay. So 10 here, and then we can also do 10 inner thigh leg lifts here, working the, the muscles inside the legs here. I know we're all looking to tighten and tone for summer. Yes. Yes. But doing something like this is, is what you can substitute. To instead okay. of going outside. That's great. Yes. I actually and you can do play Twister like yes. and, and while you're boiling water. <laughs> Thanks, Al. I love it. Yes. So after you're finished working out, right. first of all, you're hot. Yes. Okay, so you we'll know do that you're going to be hot. Yes. You know you're going to be yes. sweaty. But I want you to look at your post workout routine okay. as your reward. So okay. you can stretch, and I want you to hold a washcloth here. You can Ooh, put this behind nice. your neck. Yes. A little bandana is great to help you cool down while you're doing your stretches. So you just, cool, just a cool towel. Yes, yeah. absolutely. So oh, holding while the stretch, stretch, yeah, while you're stretching, you can also. You know, drink your water. Here you go. You can, you can you. do that. And what's the ice <laughs> for? <laughs> and then you can put ice on the back of your, oh, your wrist pulse underneath. Points. Yes, this is very sensitive mm. on your body, so this is going to help you feel cool. <sighs> and I've got a couple breathing techniques too that okay. can help cool you down. So I want you to curl your tongue mm -hmm, and then breathe in. I can't do that. Nice. And then breathe out. That was good. So the moisture from your tongue actually helps yeah. the air to come in cooler. You can oh, also do lion's breath, breathing in. Scrunching your face and then breathing out. 
awesome. Do you feel cooler? Ooh, kind I of do, like but I have, <laughs> have the cold water. Yes, yes. yes. Really so quickly. we're kind of out of time, but yes. after you never know what to eat after because you don't right. want to mess up whatever you just burned. Yeah, I know. So cool down with an ice cold protein smoothie. That's okay. delicious vanilla protein with mango exactly. made by Ooh, that Katie is here. Good. Yes, you can also have Aren't a. You glad you came back. <laughs> yeah, this was supposed to be my station. You took my snack. Okay, that does it for this episode of Start Today. Don't forget, our online community is growing by the day. Just scan the QR code to sign up for a daily dose of information and motivation in our Start Today newsletter. And connect with other folks on a mission to get healthy. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you next time on Today All Day. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.